When we throw, it's essential that we get our right foot into the ground as quickly as possible. <clears throat> we want to get our right foot down so we can get the ball on its way uh, and keep our release time as quick as possible, which of course will then decrease our pop time. We take a number of different steps when we throw. There's all kinds of variations. Sometimes if there's a left-handed batter up, we'll replace. Sometimes if there's a right-handed batter up, we'll jab step or tap step. Um, sometimes if the pitch location calls for it, we might rock and fire, load and throw. Um, and then sometimes we eliminate the footwork altogether and just throw from our knees. But when we're actually throwing from our feet, again, it's essential that we get our right foot in the ground as quickly as possible. One of the most common mistakes we see that I see around the country when I'm doing all my camps and events is catchers taking a huge giant step in order to make that throw. The longer the step you take, the longer the, your foot's in the air, the longer the ball's gonna be in your hand. Get your right foot in the ground as quickly as possible. So this would be an example of entirely too big of a step. Sometimes I'll call it like a catcher's crow hop and it looks like this. Notice that that's easily a 24 inch, maybe even more step, okay? Most elite level throwers will pick that right foot up and put it right back down. If explaining to your catcher that taking too big of a step is gonna create issues, if they're just not able to fix it, um, a good way to practice taking a shorter step is to put something in the way. We wanna put something in the way that is uh, big enough that they can feel it if they do step on it, but small enough and low enough that if they do step on it, they're not gonna hurt themselves. So I like to use just a, a pitcher's rubber, an extra pitching rubber. You can use a little five to 10 pound plate. Um, you can actually, if you're outside in the dirt, you can actually build a little mound of dirt so they feel themselves step on the mound. Just get creative, but give them something, uh, you know, put something in the way. I call it a stride stopper that's gonna give them instant feedback if they step too far, right? So we'll have them go through the whole throwing motion with the footwork. Uh, actually, we can stop them once they get up to throwing position. I have to go through the entire motion, but get up to throwing position and then look down and see where their foot is. Sometimes they'll kick it or step on it, so they'll feel it that way. Sometimes I might have to look down and see that they went past if they flat out miss it. So what we'll do, the setup looks like this. Go ahead and get into your traditional second day. So if you have a catcher that starts off relatively squared up like Wilder does, you're gonna put it right out in front. Just, just about four or five inches out in front of their feet. Um, if there's someone who staggers a little bit, so drop your right foot back just a little bit, you'll put it even with their left foot. And again, all we want at most is about a four to six inch step with that right foot. Some catchers actually tap it. They pick it up and put it right back down. Um, so just know that it's gonna be able to adjust or you're gonna to need to be able to adjust to each catcher depending on the technique they usually use. But again, Wilder usually stays square, so I'm gonna move it out just a little bit. And now he's gonna go through a few reps and look down at his feet after each rep. So on that one he did great, he picked it up, put it right back down. Go ahead and, and uh, make the mistake that we talked about, step a little bit far. So now he looks down, he sees out and he's in, out in front of the rubber he needs to make sure he stays down. This next one, see if he can actually step on it or maybe even kick it. You get a lot closer, a lot closer. There you go. So that one, he ended up on top of the rubber. And again, it just gives him instant feedback that he stepped too far. So we have the visual, and then you can also feel sometimes when you kick it. We want to pick it up and put it right back down. So again, when done correctly, it'll look like this. Again, the bigger the step we take, the longer the ball is gonna be in our hand. We wanna pick up that right foot and put it right back down, get it in the ground as quickly as possible. If you have a catcher who has an issue with taking too big of a step or you're the actual catcher who's taking too big of a step, use a stride stopper. Put something in the way, like a pitching rubber, a weight plate, or even just a mound of dirt.